In mathematics, a Fourier series is a periodic function composed of harmonically related sinusoids, combined by a weighted summation. With appropriate weights, one cycle or period of the summation can be made to approximate an arbitrary function in that interval or the entire function if it too is periodic. As such, the summation is a synthesis of another function. The discrete time Fourier transform is an example of synthesis. The process of deriving the weights that describe a given function is a form of Fourier analysis. For functions on unbounded intervals, the analysis and synthesis analogies are Fourier transform and inverse transform. History The Fourier series is named in honor of Jean-Baptiste Joseph Fourier (1768–1830), who made important contributions to the study of trigonometric series after preliminary investigations by Leonard Euler, Jean Le Rond d'Alembert, and Daniel Bernoulli. Fourier introduced the series for the purpose of solving the heat equation in a metal plate, publishing his initial results in his 1807 memoir sur la propagation de la chaleur dans les corps solides treatise on the propagation of heat in solid bodies, and publishing his theory analytique de la chaleur analytical theory of heat in 1822. The memoir introduced Fourier analysis, specifically Fourier series. Through Fourier's research the fact was established that an arbitrary continuous function can be represented by a trigonometric series. The first announcement of this great discovery was made by Fourier in 1807, before the French Academy. Early ideas of decomposing a periodic function into the sum of simple oscillating functions date back to the 3rd century BC, when ancient astronomers proposed an empiric model of planetary motions, based on deference and epicycles. The heat equation is a partial differential equation. Prior to Fourier's work, no solution to the heat equation was known in the general case, although particular solutions were known if the heat source behaved in a simple way, in particular, if the heat source was a sine or cosine wave. These simple solutions are now sometimes called eigensolutions. Fourier's idea was to model a complicated heat source as a superposition or linear combination of simple sine and cosine waves, and to write the solution as a superposition of the corresponding eigensolutions. This superposition or linear combination is called the Fourier series. From a modern point of view, Fourier's results are somewhat informal, due to the lack of a precise notion of function and integral in the early 19th century. Later, Peter Gustave Lejeune Dirichlet and Bernhard Riemann expressed Fourier's results with greater precision and formality. Although the original motivation was to solve the heat equation, it later became obvious that the same techniques could be applied to a wide array of mathematical and physical problems, and especially those involving linear differential equations with constant coefficients, for which the eigensolutions are sinusoids. The Fourier series has many such applications in electrical engineering, vibration analysis, acoustics, optics, signal processing, image processing, quantum mechanics, econometrics, thin-walled shell theory, etc. Topic. Definition Consider a real valued function S x that is integrable on an interval of length P which will be the period of the Fourier series. Common examples of analysis intervals are x element of 0 1 display style x in 0 1 and p equals 1 display style p equals 1 x element of minus pi pi display style x in pi pi and p equals 2 pi Display style p equals 2 pi. The analysis process determines the weights indexed by integer n. Display style n, which is also the number of cycles of the n t h. Display style n caret t h harmonic in the analysis interval. Therefore, the length of a cycle in the units of x. Display style x. n display style p n and the corresponding harmonic frequency is n p display style n p 
sin two pi x n p display style sin left two pi x tfrac n p right and cos two pi x n p display style cos left two pi x tfrac n p right a n t h display style n caret t h harmonics and their amplitudes weights are found by integration over the interval of length p display style p if s x display style s x is p display style p periodic then any interval of that length is sufficient a 0 display style are underscore 0 and b 0 display style b underscore 0 can be reduced to just a 0 equals 2 p p s x d x display style or underscore 0 equals frac 2 p in underscore p s x d x and b 0 equals 0 display style b underscore 0 equals 0 many texts choose p equals 2 pi display style p equals 2 pi to simplify the argument of the sinusoid functions the synthesis process the actual fourier series is in general integer n display style n is theoretically infinite even so the series might not converge or exactly equate to s x display style s x at all values of x display style x such as a single point discontinuity in the analysis interval for the well behaved functions typical of physical processes equality is customarily assumed using a trigonometric identity a n cos 2 pi n x p minus phi n a n cos phi n a n cos 2 pi n x p plus a n c n phi n b n sin 2 pi n x p Display style or underscore n c d o t cos left t f r a c two pi n x p varphi underscore n right equivalent under brace or underscore n cos varphi underscore n underscore or underscore n c d o t cos left t f r a c two pi n x p right plus under brace or underscore n sin varphi underscore n underscore b underscore n c d o t sin left t f r a c two pi n x p right and definitions a n a n 2 plus b n 2 display style or underscore n triangle sqrt or underscore n caret 2 plus b underscore n caret 2 phi n arctan 2 b n a n display style vafi underscore n triangle operator name arctan two b underscore n a underscore n. The sine and cosine pairs can be expressed as a single sinusoid with a phase offset analogous to the conversion between orthogonal Cartesian and polar coordinates. The customary form for generalizing to complex-valued 
S X display style S X next section is obtained using Euler's formula to split the cosine function into complex exponentials here complex conjugation is denoted by an asterisk cos 2 pi n x p minus phi n 1 2 e i 2 pi n x p minus phi n plus 1 2 e minus i 2 pi n x p minus phi n equals 1 2 e minus i phi n e i 2 pi plus n x p plus 1 2 e minus i phi n e i 2 pi minus n x p Display style begin array ul cos left tfrac two pi n x p var phi underscore n right and equivalent tfrac one two e caret i left tfrac two pi n x p var phi underscore n right and plus tfrac one two e caret i left tfrac two pi n x p var phi underscore n right and equals left tfrac one two e caret i var phi underscore n right c d o t e caret i tfrac 2 pi plus n x p and plus left tfrac 1 2 e caret i var phi underscore n right caret asterisk c d o t e caret i tfrac 2 pi n x p end array. Therefore, with definitions c n a 0 2 equals a 0 2 N equals zero A N two E minus I Phi N equals one two A N minus I B N N greater than zero C N N zero equals one PPS X E minus I two pi N X P D X display style C underscore N triangle cleft begin array L R underscore zero two and equals R underscore zero two quad and N equals zero T F R A C R underscore N two E carrot I buffy underscore N and equals T F R A C one two R underscore N Ib underscore N quad and N greater than zero C underscore N carrot asterisk quad and N the final result is Topic: Complex valued functions. If s x display style s x is a complex valued function of a real variable x display style x, both components, real and imaginary part, are real valued functions that can be represented by a Fourier series. The two sets of coefficients in the partial sum are given by C R N equals one P P re S X E minus I two Pi N X P D X Display style c underscore underscore r n equals frac one p int underscore p operator name re s x c d o t e caret i t f r a c two pi n x p d x and c i n equals one p p im s x 
e minus i two pi n x p d x Display style C underscore underscore in equals frac one P int underscore P operator name M S X C D O T E carrot I T F R A C two Pi N X P D X S N X equals N equals minus N N C R N E I two pi n x p plus i n equals minus n n c i n e i two pi n x P equals N equals minus N N C R N plus I C I N E I two pi N X P Display style S underscore N X equals sum underscore N equals N carrot N C underscore underscore R N C D O T E carrot I T F R A C two Pi N X P plus I C D O T sum underscore N equals N carrot N C underscore underscore in C D O T E carrot I T F R A C two Pi N X P equals sum underscore N equals N carrot N left C underscore underscore R N plus I C D O T C underscore underscore in right C D O T T E carrot I T F R A C two Pi N X P defining C N C R N plus I C I N Display style C underscore N triangle C underscore underscore R N plus I C D O T C underscore underscore in yields this is identical to EQ. For except C N display style C underscore N and C minus N display style C underscore N are no longer complex conjugates. The formula for C N display style C underscore N is also unchanged. C N equals one P P re S X E minus I two Pi N X P D X plus I one P P M S X E minus I two pi N X P D X equals one P P re S X plus I M S X E minus I two Pi N X P D X equals one P P S X E minus I two pi n x p d x.
Display style begin aligned C underscore N and equals frac one P in underscore P operator name re S X C D O T E carrot I T F R A C two Pi N X P D X plus I C D O T frac one P in underscore P operator name M S X C D O T E carrot I T F R A C two Pi N X P D X four P T and equals frac one P in underscore P left operator name re S X plus I C D O T operator name M S X right C D O T E carrot I T F R A C two Pi N X P D X equals frac one P in underscore P S X C D O T E carrot I T F R A C two Pi N X P D X End aligned Topic Other common notations The notation C N Display style c underscore n is inadequate for discussing the Fourier coefficients of several different functions. Therefore, it is customarily replaced by a modified form of the function s. Display style s. In this case, such as s caret n. Display style hat s n or s n. Display style s n. And functional notation often replaces subscripting S infinity X equals N equals minus infinity infinity S carrot N E I two Pi N X P equals n equals minus infinity infinity s n e j 2 pi n x p c o m m o n e n g i n e e r i n g n o t a t i o n display star begin aligned s underscore inf t x and equals sum underscore n equals inf t caret inf t hat s n c d o t e caret i 2 pi n x p 6 p t and equals sum underscore n equals inf t caret inf t s n c d o t e caret j 2 pi n x p and an script style m a t h s f common engineering notation end aligned in engineering Engineering, particularly when the variable x display style x represents time, the coefficient sequence is called a frequency domain representation. Square brackets are often used to emphasize that the domain of this function is a discrete set of frequencies. Another commonly used frequency domain representation uses the Fourier series coefficients to modulate a Dirac comb. S f n equals minus infinity infinity s n delta f minus n p display style s f triangle sum underscore n equals inf t caret inf t s n c d o t delta left f frac n p right where f display style f represents a continuous frequency domain when variable X display style X has units of seconds. F display style F has units of hertz. The teeth of the comb are spaced at multiples, i.e. harmonics of one p display style one p, which is called the fundamental frequency s infinity x. Display style s underscore inf t x can be recovered from this representation by an inverse Fourier transform f minus one s f equals minus infinity infinity n equals minus infinity infinity s n Delta F minus N P E I two Pi F X D 
D F equals N equals minus infinity infinity S N minus infinity infinity delta F minus N P E I two pi F X D F equals N equals minus infinity infinity S N E I two pi N X P S infinity X Display style begin aligned mathcal f carrot minus one s f and equals int underscore inf t carrot inf t left sum underscore n equals inf t carrot inf t s n c d o t delta left f frac n p right right e carrot i two pi f x d f six p t and equals sum underscore n equals inf t carrot inf t s n c d o t int underscore inf t carrot inf t delta left f frac n p right e carrot i two pi f x d f 6 pt and equals sum underscore n equals inf t carrot inf t s n c d o t e carrot i 2 pi n x p triangle s underscore inf t x n aligned. The constructed function s f display style s f is therefore commonly referred to as a Fourier transform, even though the Fourier integral of a periodic function is not convergent at the harmonic frequencies. Topic convergence. In engineering applications, the Fourier series is generally presumed to converge everywhere except at discontinuities, since the functions encountered in engineering are more well behaved than the ones that mathematicians can provide as counter-examples to this presumption. In particular, if S display style S is continuous and the derivative of S X display style S X which may not exist everywhere is square integrable then the fourier series of s display style s converges absolutely and uniformly to s x display style s x if a function is square integrable on the interval x 0 x 0 plus p Display style x underscore zero x underscore zero plus p. Then the Fourier series converges to the function at almost every point. Convergence of Fourier series also depends on the finite number of maxima and minima in a function, which is popularly known as one of the Dirichlet's condition for Fourier series. See convergence of Fourier series. It is possible to define Fourier coefficients for more general functions or distributions, in such cases convergence in norm or weak convergence is usually of interest. Examples <laughs> 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 Topic example 1 A simple Fourier series We now use the formula above to give a Fourier series expansion of a very simple function. Consider a sawtooth wave S x equals x pi f o r minus pi x pi display style S x equals frac x pi quad mathrm four pi S x plus two pi k equals S x f o r minus pi x pi and k element of Z. Display style S x plus two pi k equals S x quad mathrm four pi. In this case, the Fourier coefficients are given by a n equals one pi minus pi pi S x cos n x d x equals zero n zero b n equals 1 pi minus pi pi s x sin n x d x equals minus 2 pi n cos n pi plus 2 pi 2 n 2 sin n 
pi equals two minus one n plus one pi n n one Display style begin aligned at underscore n and equals frac one pi int underscore pi carrot pi s x cos n x dx equals zero quad n g e q zero four p t b underscore n and equals frac one pi int underscore pi carrot pi s x sin n x dx four p t and equals frac two pi n cos n pi plus frac two pi carrot two n carrot two sin n pi four p t and equals frac two minus one carrot n plus one Pi n quad n g e q one end aligned. It can be proven that Fourier series converges to S x display style S x at every point x display style x, where S display style S is differentiable, and therefore, when x equals pi display style x equals pi, the Fourier series converges to zero, which is the half sum of the left and right limit of S at x equals pi display style x equals pi. This is a particular instance of the Dirichlet theorem for Fourier series. This example leads us to a solution to the Basel problem. Topic: Example 2, Fourier's motivation. The Fourier series expansion of our function in example 1 looks more complicated than the simple formula S x equals x pi. Display style S x equals x pi so it is not immediately apparent why one would need the Fourier series. While there are many applications, Fourier's motivation was in solving the heat equation. For example, consider a metal plate in the shape of a square whose side measures pi display style pi meters, with coordinates x y element of 0 pi times 0 Pi display style x y in zero pi times zero pi. If there is no heat source within the plate, and if three of the four sides are held at zero degrees Celsius, while the fourth side, given by y equals pi display style y equals pi, is maintained at the temperature gradient T x pi equals x display style t x pi equals x degrees celsius for x display style x in 0 pi display style 0 pi then one can show that the stationary heat distribution or the heat distribution after a long period of time has elapsed is given by t x y equals Two n equals one infinity minus one n plus one n sin n x shine n y shine n pi Display style t x y equals two sum underscore n equals one carrot inf t frac minus one carrot n plus one n sin n x shine n y over shine n pi. Here, shine is the hyperbolic sine function. This solution of the heat equation is obtained by multiplying each term of eq point seven by shine n y shine n pi. Display style shine n y shine n pi. While our example function s x display style s x seems to have a needlessly complicated Fourier series, the heat distribution t x y display style t x y is non-trivial. A function t display style t cannot be written as a closed form expression this method of solving the heat problem was made possible by fourier's work topic other applications another application of this fourier series is to solve the basel problem by using parseval's theorem 
The example generalizes and one may compute zeta n for any positive integer n. Topic: Beginnings. This immediately gives any coefficient ac of the trigonometrical series for phi y for any function which has such an expansion. It works because if phi has such an expansion, then under suitable convergence assumptions, the integral a k equals minus one one phi y cos two k plus one pi y two d y equals minus one one cos pi y two cos two k plus one pi y two plus a cos three pi y two cos two k plus one pi y two plus d y display style begin aligned and underscore k and equals int underscore minus one carrot one vafi y cos two k plus one frac pi y two d y and equals int underscore minus one carrot one left a cos frac pi y two cos two k plus one frac pi y two plus a cos three frac pi y two cos two k plus one frac pi y two plus c d o t s right d y end aligned can be carried out term by term but all terms involving cos 2j plus 1 pi y 2 cos 2k plus 1 pi y 2 display style cos 2j plus 1 frac pi y 2 cos 2k plus 1 frac pi y 2 for j does not equal k vanish when integrated from minus 1 to 1 leaving only the kth term in these few lines, which are close to the modern formalism used in Fourier series, Fourier revolutionized both mathematics and physics. Although similar trigonometric series were previously used by Euler, d'Alembert, Daniel Bernoulli and Gauss, Fourier believed that such trigonometric series could represent any arbitrary function. In what sense that is actually true is a somewhat subtle issue and the attempts over many years to clarify this idea have led to important discoveries in the theories of convergence, function spaces, and harmonic analysis. When Fourier submitted a later competition essay in 1811, the committee, which included Lagrange, Laplace, Malice and Legendre, among others, concluded, dot the manner in which the author arrives at these equations is not exempt of difficulties and, dot his analysis to integrate them still leaves something to be desired on the score of generality and even rigor. Topic. Birth of harmonic analysis Since Fourier's time, many different approaches to defining and understanding the concept of Fourier series have been discovered, all of which are consistent with one another, but each of which emphasizes different aspects of the topic. Some of the more powerful and elegant approaches are based on mathematical ideas and tools that were not available at the time Fourier completed his original work. Fourier originally defined the Fourier series for real-valued functions of real arguments, and using the sine and cosine functions as the basis set for the decomposition. Many other Fourier-related transforms have since been defined, extending the initial idea to other applications. This general area of inquiry is now sometimes called harmonic analysis. A Fourier series, however, can be used only for periodic functions, or for functions on a bounded, compact interval. Topic. Extensions Topic. Fourier series on a square We can also define the Fourier series for functions of two variables x and y in the square minus pi pi times minus pi pi display style pi pi times pi pi f x y equals j k element of z integers 
C J K E I J X E I K Y C J K equals one four pi two Minus pi pi minus pi pi f x y e minus i j x e minus i k y d x d y. Display style begin aligned f x y and equals sum underscore j k in mathbound z text integers c underscore j k e caret i j x e caret i k y five p t c underscore j k and equals one over four pi caret two in underscore pi caret pi in underscore pi caret pi f x y e caret i j x e caret i k y d x d y end aligned. Aside from being useful for solving partial differential equations such as the heat equation. One notable application of Fourier series on the square is in image compression. In particular, the JPEG image compression standard uses the two dimensional discrete cosine transform, which is a Fourier transform using the cosine basis functions. <laughs> Fourier series of Bravais lattice periodic function The three-dimensional Bravais lattice is defined as the set of vectors of the form R equals n one R one plus n two A two plus n three A three Display style Math BF R equals N underscore one Math BF a underscore one plus N underscore two Math BF a underscore two plus N underscore three Math BF a underscore three Where N I Display style N underscore I are integers and A I Display style Math BF a underscore I are three linearly independent vectors. Assuming we have some function f r display style f math b f r such that it obeys the following condition for any Bravais lattice vector r f r equals f r plus r display style math b f r f math b f r equals f math b f r plus math b f r we could make a fourier series of it this kind of function can be for example the effective potential that one electron feels inside a periodic crystal it is useful to make a fourier series of the potential then when applying bloch's theorem first we may write any arbitrary vector r display style math b f r in the coordinate system of the lattice r equals x 1 a 1 a 1 plus x 2 a 2 a 2 plus x 3 a 3 a Three display style math bf r equals x underscore one frac math bf r underscore one r underscore one plus x underscore two frac math bf r underscore two r underscore two plus x underscore three frac math bf r underscore three r underscore three where a i equals a i display style underscore i equals math bf r underscore i Thus we can define a new function g x 1 x 2 x 3 equals f r equals f x 1 r 1 r 1 plus x 2 Two a two plus 
x free a free a three Display style g x underscore one x underscore two x underscore three equals f math b f r equals f left x underscore one frac math b f r underscore one r underscore one plus x underscore two frac math b f r underscore two r underscore two plus x underscore three frac math b f r underscore three r underscore three right. This new function g x one x Two x three display style g x underscore one x underscore two x underscore three is now a function of three variables, each of which has periodicity a one, a two, a three respectively. G x one x two x three equals g x one plus a one x two x three equals g x one x two plus a two x three equals g x one x two x three plus a three display style g x underscore one x underscore two x underscore three equals g x underscore one plus a underscore one x underscore two x underscore three equals g x underscore one x underscore two plus a underscore two x underscore three equals g x underscore one x underscore two x underscore three plus a underscore three if we write a series for g on the interval zero a one for x one we can define the following H O N E M one X two X three equals one a one zero a one G X one X two X three E minus I two Pi M one a one X one D X one Display style h carrot mathrm one m underscore one x underscore two x underscore three equals frac one a underscore one int underscore zero carrot a underscore one g x underscore one x underscore two x underscore three c d o t e carrot i two pi frac m underscore one a underscore one x underscore one d x underscore one, and then we can write g x one x two X three equals M one equals minus infinity infinity H O N E M one X two X three E I two Pi M one a one x one Display style g x underscore one x underscore two x underscore three equals sum underscore m underscore one equals empty carrot empty h carrot mathrm one m underscore one x underscore two x underscore three c d o t e carrot i two pi frac m underscore one a underscore one x underscore one further defining h t w o m one M two X three equals one I 
two zero a two H O N E M one X two X three E minus I two Pi M two A two X two D X two equals one a two zero a two D X two one a one zero a one D X one G X one X two X three E minus I two Pi M one a one X one plus M two a two X two Display style begin aligned H carrot mathram two M underscore one M underscore two X underscore three and equals frac one a underscore two in underscore zero carrot a underscore two H carrot mathram one M underscore one X underscore two X underscore three C D O T E carrot I two pi frac M underscore two a underscore two X underscore two D X underscore two twelve P T and equals frac one a underscore two in underscore zero carrot a underscore two D X underscore 2 frac 1 a underscore 1 int underscore 0 carrot a underscore 1 dx underscore 1 g x underscore 1 x underscore 2 x underscore 3 c d o t e carrot i 2 pi left frac m underscore 1 a underscore 1 x underscore 1 plus frac m underscore 2 a underscore 2 x underscore 2 right end aligned we can write g display style g once again as g x 1 x 2 x 3 equals m 1 equals minus infinity infinity m 2 equals minus infinity 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 H T W O M one M two X three E I two Pi M one a one X one E I two Pi M Two a two x two display style g x underscore one x underscore two x underscore three equals sum underscore m underscore one equals empty carrot empty sum underscore m underscore two equals empty carrot empty h carrot mathram two m underscore one m underscore two x underscore three c d o t e carrot i two pi frac m underscore one a underscore one x underscore one c d o t e carrot i two pi frac m underscore two a underscore two x underscore two Finally, applying the same for the third coordinate, we define h t h r e e m one m two m three equals one a three zero a three H T W O M one M two X three E minus I two Pi M three a three X three D X three equals one a three zero a 
3 d x 3 1 a 2 0 a 2 d x 2 1 a 1 0 a 1 d x 1 g x 1 x 2 x 3 e minus i 2 pi m 1 a 1 x 1 plus m 2 a 2 x 2 plus M three a three by three display style begin aligned H carrot mathram three M underscore one M underscore two M underscore three and equals frac one a underscore three in underscore zero carrot a underscore three H carrot mathram two M underscore one M underscore two X underscore three C D O T E carrot I two pi frac M underscore three a underscore three X underscore three D X underscore three twelve P T and equals frac one a underscore three in under underscore zero carrot a underscore three DX underscore three frac one a underscore two in underscore zero carrot a underscore two DX underscore two frac one a underscore one in underscore zero carrot a underscore one DX underscore one G X underscore one X underscore two X underscore three C D O T E carrot I two pi left frac M underscore one a underscore one X underscore one plus frac M underscore two a underscore two X underscore two plus frac Frac m underscore three a underscore three x underscore three right end aligned we write g display style g as g x one x two x three equals m one equals minus infinity infinity m two equals minus infinity infinity m three equals minus infinity infinity h t h r e e M one M two M three E I two Pi M one a one X one E I two Pi M two a uh, two x two e i two pi m three a uh, three x three Display style G x underscore one x underscore two x underscore three equals sum underscore M underscore one equals empty carrot empty sum underscore M underscore two equals empty carrot empty sum underscore M underscore three equals empty carrot empty H carrot mathram three M underscore one M underscore two M underscore three C D O T E carrot I two pi frac M underscore one a underscore one x underscore one C D O T E carrot I two pi frac M underscore two a underscore two x underscore two C D O T E carrot I two pi frac M underscore three a underscore three x underscore three rearranging G x one x two x three equals M one M two M three element of Z H T H R E E M one M two M three E I two Pi M one one x one 
plus m two a two x two plus m three a three x three Display style g x underscore one x underscore two x underscore three equals sum underscore m underscore one m underscore two m underscore three in math bound z h carrot mathrm three m underscore one m underscore two m underscore three c d o t e carrot i two pi left frac m underscore one a underscore one x underscore one plus frac m underscore two a underscore two x underscore two plus frac m underscore three a underscore three x underscore Three right. Now every reciprocal lattice vector can be written as k equals one g one plus two g two plus three g three. Display style Math BF K equals L underscore one Math BF G underscore one plus L underscore two Math BF G underscore two plus L underscore three Math BF G underscore three where L I Display style L underscore I are integers and G I Display style Math BF G underscore I are the reciprocal lattice vectors. We can use the fact that G I A J equals two pi delta I J. Display style Math BF G underscore I C D O T Math BF R underscore J equals two pi delta underscore I J to calculate that for any arbitrary reciprocal lattice vector. K display style math BF K an arbitrary vector in space R display style math BF R their scalar product is K R equals 1 G 1 plus 2 G 2 plus 3 G three x one a one a one plus x two a two a two plus x three a three a three equals two pi x one one a one plus x two two a two plus x three three a three Display style Math BF K C D O T Math BF R equals left L underscore one Math BF G underscore one plus L underscore two Math BF G underscore two plus L underscore three Math BF G underscore three right C D O T left X underscore one Frac Math BF R underscore one R underscore one plus X underscore two Frac Math BF R underscore two R underscore two plus X underscore three Frac Math BF R underscore three R underscore 3 right equals 2 pi left x underscore 1 frac l underscore 1 r underscore 1 plus x underscore 2 frac l underscore 2 r underscore 2 plus x underscore 3 frac l underscore 3 r underscore 3 right and so it is clear that in our expansion the sum is actually over reciprocal lattice vectors f r equals k h k E I K R Display style F Math BF R equals sum underscore Math BF K H Math BF K C D O T E carrot I Math BF K C D O T Math BF R 
where H K equals one a three zero a three D X three one a two zero a two D X two one a one zero a one D X one F X one a one a one plus X two a two a two plus X three a three a three E minus I K R Display style H Math BF K equals frac one a underscore three int underscore zero carrot a underscore three DX underscore three frac one a underscore two int underscore zero carrot a underscore two DX underscore two frac one a underscore one int underscore zero carrot a underscore one DX underscore one F left X underscore one frac Math BF a underscore one a underscore one plus X underscore two frac Math BF a underscore two are underscore two plus x underscore three frac math bf a underscore three a underscore three right c d o t e carrot i math bf k c d o t math bf r assuming r equals x y z equals x one a one a one Plus x two a two a two plus x three a three a three Display style Math BF R equals X, Y, Z equals X underscore one, frac, Math BF, a underscore one, a underscore one, plus X underscore two, frac, Math BF, a underscore two, a underscore two, plus X underscore three, frac, Math BF, a underscore three, a underscore three. We can solve this system of three linear equations for X Display style X Y Display style Y and Z display style Z in terms of X one display style X underscore one X two display style X underscore two and X three display style X underscore three in order to calculate the volume element in the original Cartesian coordinate system. Once we have x display style x, y display style y, and z display style z, in terms of x one display style x underscore one, x two display style x underscore two, and x three. Display style x underscore three. We can calculate the Jacobian determinant x one x x one y x one z x two x x two y x two Z X three 
xx three y x three z display style begin b matrix dfrac partial x underscore one partial x and dfrac partial x underscore one partial y and dfrac partial x underscore one partial z twelve pt dfrac partial x underscore two partial x and dfrac partial x underscore two partial y and dfrac partial x underscore two partial z twelve pt dfrac partial x underscore three partial x and DFRAC partial x underscore three partial y and DFRAC partial x underscore three partial z end v matrix, which after some calculation and applying some non-trivial cross product identities can be shown to be equal to a one or two a three a one a two times a three Display style frac a underscore one a underscore two a underscore three math bf a underscore one c d o t math bf a underscore two times math bf a underscore three. It may be advantageous for the sake of simplifying calculations to work in such a Cartesian coordinate system, in which it just so happens that a one display style math bf a underscore one is parallel to the x-axis. Two display style math bf are underscore two lies in the x y plane and a three display style math bf are underscore three has components of all three axes. The denominator is exactly the volume of the primitive unit cell, which is enclosed by the three primitive vectors. A one display style math bf are underscore one a Two. Display style math bf are underscore two and a three. Display style math bf are underscore three. In particular, we now know that d x one d x two d x three equals a one a two a three a one a two times a three D X D Y D Z Display style dx underscore one dx underscore two dx underscore three equals frac a underscore one a underscore two a underscore three math bf a underscore one c d o t math bf a underscore two times math bf a underscore three c d o t dx dy dz. We can write now h k display style h math bf k as an integral with the traditional coordinate system over the volume of the primitive cell instead of with the x 1 display style x underscore 1 x 2 display style x underscore 2 and x 3 display style x underscore 3 variables h k equals one a one a two times a three C D R F R E minus I K R Display style H Math BF K equals frac one Math BF are underscore one C D O T Math BF are underscore two times Math BF are underscore three int underscore C D Math BF R F Math BF R C D O T E carrot I Math BF K C D O T Math BF R and C Display style C is the primitive unit cell, thus up one a two times a three 
Display style Math BF are underscore one CDOT Math BF are underscore two times Math BF are underscore three is the volume of the primitive unit cell. Topic Hilbert space interpretation In the language of Hilbert spaces, the set of functions E N equals E I N X N element of Z display style E underscore N equals E carrot I N X N in mathbound Z is an orthonormal basis for the space L two minus pi pi display style L carrot two pi pi of square integrable functions on minus pi pi display style pi pi this space is actually a hilbert space with an inner product given for any two elements f display style f and g display style g by f g 1 2 pi minus pi pi f x g x d x display style langle f g wrangle triangle frac 1 2 pi int underscore pi caret pi f x overline g x d x the basic fourier series result for hilbert spaces can be written as f equals n equals minus infinity infinity f e n e n display style f equals sum underscore n equals infinity caret infinity langle f e underscore n wrangle e underscore n this corresponds exactly to the complex exponential formulation given above the version with sines and cosines is also justified with the Hilbert space interpretation. Indeed, the sines and cosines form an orthogonal set. Minus pi pi cos m x cos n x d x equals one two minus Pi Pi cos N minus M X plus cos N plus M X D X equals Pi Delta M N M N one display style int underscore pi carrot pi cos mx cos nx dx equals frac one two int underscore pi carrot pi cos nm x plus cos n plus m x dx equals pi delta underscore Minnesota quad m n g e q one minus pi pi sin m x sin n x D x equals one two minus pi pi cos n minus m x minus cos n plus m x d x equals Pi delta M N M N one Display style int underscore pi carrot pi sin mx sin nx dx equals frac one two int underscore pi carrot pi cos nm x cos n plus m x dx equals pi delta underscore Minnesota quad m n g e q one where delta Minnesota is the Kronecker delta and minus pi 
pi cos m x sin n x d x equals 1 2 minus pi pi sin n plus m x plus sin n minus m x d x equals zero Display style int underscore pi carrot pi cos mx sin nx dx equals frac one two int underscore pi carrot pi sin n plus m x plus sin nm x dx equals zero. Furthermore, the sines and cosines are orthogonal to the constant function one. Display style one. An orthonormal basis for L two minus pi. Pi display style l caret two pi pi consisting of real functions is formed by the functions one display style one and two cos n x display style sqrt two cos n x two sin n x Display style sqrt two sin nx with n equals one two. The density of their span is a consequence of the Stone-Weierstrass theorem, but follows also from the properties of classical kernels like the Feyer kernel. Equals. Topic properties. Equals topic table of basic properties. This table shows some mathematical operations in the time domain and the corresponding effect in the Fourier series coefficients. Notation z display style z caret asterisk is the complex conjugate of z display style z f x g x display style f x g x designate p display style p periodic functions defined on zero x p display style zero. F n g n display style F n g n designate the Fourier series coefficients exponential form of F display style F and g display style g as defined in equation eq.5. Topic: Symmetry properties. When the real and imaginary parts of a complex function are decomposed into their even and odd parts, there are four components, denoted below by the subscripts re, rho, i.e., and io. And there is a one-to-one -one mapping between the four components of a complex time function and the four components of its complex frequency transform. Time domain f equals f re plus f rho plus i f i e plus i f i o f f f f f frequency domain f equals f r e plus I F I O plus I F I E plus F R O display style begin array R C C C C C C C C C text time domain and F and equals an F underscore underscore text free and plus an F underscore underscore text row and plus an if underscore underscore text I E and plus an under brace I F underscore underscore text I O and big up down arrow math call F and an big up down arrow math call F and an big up down arrow math call F and an big up down arrow math call F and an big up down arrow math call F text frequency Domain and f and equals an f underscore re and plus an overbrace i f underscore i o and plus an i f underscore i e and plus an f underscore rho end array. From this, various relationships are apparent. For example, the transform of a real valued function f r e plus fro is the even symmetric function f r e plus i f i o. 
Conversely, an even symmetric transform implies a real valued time domain. The transform of an imaginary valued function I phi plus I phi o, is the odd symmetric function fro plus I phi, and the converse is true. The transform of an even symmetric function FRE plus I phi o, is the real valued function FRE plus fro, and the converse is true. The transform of an odd symmetric function fro plus I phi, is the imaginary valued function I phi plus I phi o, and the converse is true. Topic: riemann lebesgue lemma. If f display style f is integrable lim n infinity f Carrot n equals zero. Display style lim underscore n right arrow inf t hat f n equals zero. Lim n plus infinity a n equals zero. Display style lim underscore n right arrow plus inf t a underscore n equals zero. And Lim n plus infinity b n equals zero. Display style lim underscore n right arrow plus inf t b underscore n equals zero. This result is known as the riemann lebesgue lemma. Topic: Derivative property. We say that f display style f belongs to C k t display style C caret k math bound t if f display style f is a two pi periodic function on R display style math bound R which is k Display style k times differentiable, and its kth derivative is continuous. If f element of C one t display style f in C caret one math bound t, then the Fourier coefficients f caret n display style wide hat f n are the derivative. F display style f can be expressed in terms of the Fourier coefficients f caret n display style wide hat f n are the function f display style f via the formula f caret n equals i n f Carrot n display style wide hat f n equals in wide hat f n. If f element of C k t display style f in C carrot k math bound t, then f k carrot n equals N K F carrot N display style wide hat F carrot K N equals in carrot K wide hat F N. In particular, since F K carrot N display style wide hat F carrot K N tends to zero, we have that N K F Carrot n display style n carrot k wide hat f n tends to zero, which means that the Fourier coefficients converge to zero faster than the kth power of n. Topic: Parseval's theorem. If f display style f belongs to L. Two minus pi pi 
Display style L carrot two pi pi then N equals minus infinity infinity F carrot N two equals one two pi minus pi pi F x two D x Display style sum underscore n equals inf t carrot inf t hat f n carrot two equals frac one two pi int underscore pi carrot pi f x carrot two d x. Topic Plancherel's theorem: If c zero, c plus or minus one, c plus or minus two. Display style c underscore zero, c underscore p m one, c underscore p m two. L dots are coefficients and n equals minus infinity infinity c n two infinity. Display style sum underscore n equals inf t caret inf t c underscore n caret two. Then there is a unique function f element of L two minus pi pi. Display style f in L caret two pi pi such that f caret n equals c n. Display style hat f n equals c underscore n for every n. Display style n. Topic: Convolution theorems. The first convolution theorem states that if f display style f and g display style g are in L one Minus pi pi display style l caret one pi pi. The Fourier series coefficients of the two pi periodic convolution of f display style f and g display style g are given by f two pi g caret n equals 2 pi f caret n g caret n display style white hat f asterisk underscore 2 pi g n equals 2 pi c d o t hat f n c d o t hat g n where f 2 pi g X minus pi pi f u g p v x minus u d u and p v x a r g e i x principal value equals minus pi pi f u g x minus u d u when g x is two pi periodic equals two pi f u g x minus u d u when both functions are two pi periodic and the integral is over any two pi interval. Display style begin aligned left f asterisk underscore two pi g right x and triangle int underscore pi carrot pi f u c d o t g operator name p v x u do and an big text and under brace operator name p v x triangle operator name a r g e carrot x underscore text principal value big and equals int underscore pi carrot pi f u c d o t g x u do and an text when g x text is two pi text periodic and equals int underscore two pi f u c d o t g x u do and an text when both functions are two pi text periodic and the integral is over any two pi text interval. End aligned. The second convolution theorem states that the Fourier series coefficients of the product of f display style f and g display style g are given by the discrete convolution of the F carrot display style hat F and G carrot display style hat G sequences F G carrot n equals F carrot G 
carrot n display style white hat f c d o t g n equals hat f asterisk hat g n a doubly infinite sequence c n n element of z display style left c underscore n right underscore n in z in c zero z display style c underscore zero math bound z is the sequence of Fourier coefficients of a function in L one zero two pi display style L caret one zero two pi if and only if it is a convolution of two sequences in two z display style L caret two math bound z c Topic. Compact groups One of the interesting properties of the Fourier transform which we have mentioned, is that it carries convolutions to pointwise products. If that is the property which we seek to preserve, one can produce Fourier series on any compact group. Typical examples include those classical groups that are compact. This generalizes the Fourier transform to all spaces of the form L2 G, where G is a compact group, in such a way that the Fourier transform carries convolutions to pointwise products. The Fourier series exists and converges in similar ways to the minus pi, pi case. An alternative extension to compact groups is the Peter-Weyl theorem, which proves results about representations of compact groups analogous to those about finite groups. topic Riemannian manifolds If the domain is not a group then there is no intrinsically defined convolution However if x display style x is a compact Riemannian manifold it has a Laplace Beltrami operator The Laplace Beltrami operator is the differential operator that corresponds to Laplace operator for the Riemannian manifold x display style x then, by analogy, one can consider heat equations on x display style x. Since Fourier arrived at his basis by attempting to solve the heat equation, the natural generalization is to use the eigensolutions of the Laplace Beltrami operator as a basis. This generalizes Fourier series to spaces of the type L two x display style L caret two x, where x display style x is a riemannian manifold the fourier series converges in ways similar to the minus pi pi display style pi pi case a typical example is to take x display style x to be the sphere with the usual metric in which case the fourier basis consists of spherical harmonics Topic. Locally compact abelian groups The generalization to compact groups discussed above does not generalize to noncompact, nonabelian groups. However, there is a straightforward generalization to locally compact abelian LCA groups. This generalizes the Fourier transform to L 1 G L 1 G or L two G display style L carrot two G where G display style G is an LCA group. If G display style G is compact, one also obtains a Fourier series, which converges similarly to the minus pi pi display style pi pi case but if g display style g is noncompact one obtains instead of fourier integral this generalization yields the usual fourier transform when the underlying locally compact abelian group is r display style math bound r topic table of common fourier series some common pairs of periodic functions and their fourier series coefficients are shown in the table below 
The following notation applies: f x display style f x designates a periodic function defined on zero x t display style zero a zero a n b n display style a underscore zero a underscore n b underscore n designate the Fourier series coefficients sine cosine form of the periodic function f display style f as defined in eq.4. Topic. Approximation and convergence of Fourier series An important question for the theory as well as applications is that of convergence. In particular, it is often necessary in applications to replace the infinite series minus infinity infinity display style sum underscore inf t caret inf t by a finite one f n X equals N equals minus N N F carrot N E I N X Display style f underscore n x equals sum underscore n equals n carrot n hat f n e carrot i n x. This is called a partial sum. We would like to know in which sense does f n x display style f underscore n x converge to f x display style f x as n infinity display style n right arrow inf t topic. Least squares property. We say that p display style p is a trigonometric polynomial of degree n display style n when it is of the form p x equals n equals minus n n p n e i n x display style p x equals sum underscore n equals n caret n p underscore n e caret i n x note that f n display style f underscore n is a trigonometric polynomial of degree n display style n Parseval's theorem implies that theorem the trigonometric polynomial fn display style f underscore n is the unique best trigonometric polynomial of degree n display style n approximating f x display style f x in the sense that for any trigonometric polynomial p does not equal f n display style p n eq f underscore n of degree n display style n we have f n minus f two p minus f two display style f underscore n f underscore two where the Hilbert space norm is defined as g two equals one two pi minus pi pi g x 2 d x display style g underscore 2 equals sqrt 1 over 2 pi in underscore pi caret pi g x caret 2 dx topic convergence Because of the least squares property, and because of the completeness of the Fourier basis, we obtain an elementary convergence result. Theorem. If f belongs to L 2 minus pi pi display style L carrot 2 left pi pi right, then f infinity Display style f underscore inf t converges to f display style f in L two minus pi pi display style L caret two left pi pi right. That is f n minus f two Display style f underscore n f underscore two converges to zero as n 
infinity display style n right arrow inf t we have already mentioned that if f display style f is continuously differentiable then i n f caret n display style i c d o t n hat f n is the nth fourier coefficient of the derivative f display style f it follows essentially from the cauchy schwarz inequality that f infinity display style f underscore inf t is absolutely summable the sum of this series is a continuous function equal to f display style f since the fourier series converges in the mean to f display style f theorem if f element of c 1 t display style f in c caret 1 math bound t then f infinity display style f underscore inf t converges to f display style f uniformly and hence also pointwise this result can be proven easily if f display style f is further assumed to be c 2 display style c caret 2 since in the case n 2 f caret n display style n caret 2 hat f n tends to zero as n infinity display style n right arrow inf t more generally the fourier series is absolutely summable thus converges uniformly to f display style f provided that f display style f satisfies a holder condition of order alpha greater than 1 2 display style alpha greater than 1 half in the absolutely summable case the inequality sup x f x minus f n x n greater than n f caret n Display style sub underscore x f x f underscore n x l e q sum underscore n greater than n hat f n proves uniform convergence. Many other results concerning the convergence of Fourier series are known, ranging from the moderately simple result that the series converges at x display style x if f display style f is differentiable at x display style x to Leonard Carlson's much more sophisticated result that the Fourier series of an l 2 display style l caret 2 function actually converges almost everywhere these theorems and informal variations of them that don't specify the convergence conditions are sometimes referred to generically as Fourier's theorem or the Fourier theorem Topic. Divergence Since Fourier series have such good convergence properties, many are often surprised by some of the negative results. For example, the Fourier series of a continuous t-periodic function need not converge pointwise. The uniform boundedness principle yields a simple non-constructive proof of this fact. In 1922, Andrei Kolmogorov published an article titled une série de Fourier Lebesgue divergent presque partout", in which he gave an example of a Lebesgue integrable function whose Fourier series diverges almost everywhere. He later constructed an example of an integrable function whose Fourier series diverges everywhere <laughs> Topic. Convergence Dirichlet kernel Discrete Fourier transform Fast Fourier transform Fayer's theorem 
Fourier analysis Fourier sine and cosine series Fourier transform Gibbs phenomenon Laurent series – The substitution Q equals EIX transforms a Fourier series into a Laurent series, or conversely. This is used in the Q-series expansion of the J-invariant. Multidimensional transform Spectral theory Sturm-Liouville theory Notes <laughs>